Okay, so in this video, we're going to cover Perfect Black Removal and its three versions, as well as Perfect Black Choke. So it's pretty straightforward. It's a sister of Knockout with Black Editable, uh, where this one, I, if I remember correctly, it's a little less. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's our image. I'm going to hit Perfect Black Removal. Make sure I click it. Let it run. So now this one is editable. You could go in, um, you know, and kind of tweak this to whatever you want. The mask is there. I mean, for the most part, it's just one and one. There's not really any sort of levels or curves that you can do this, but it is editable. You can kind of come in here and paint things out if you want to. Uh, that option's up to you. I left the mask there. Um, I didn't merge it in. Um, so that's version number one. And you can actually easily go through and do the other two versions, and I'll kind of show you what we're what it's basically doing. There's version two. We'll turn back the original artwork and do version three. So let's do two. We'll just rename that. This is one and this is three. So I'm going to go ahead and turn them on incrementally and you'll see essentially what's happening. So um, it's uh, less and less is getting uh, extracted. So perfect black removal one is going to be the most amount of removal of black. And I'm just trying to target, um, you know, a perfect black and, and maybe a few steps beyond that. And you can see the kind of stepping that I'm talking about. Uh, version two, we're pulling less and you can see it's decreased. And then in version three, it's even less. We're down to like basically perfect black and leaving the rest there. So some folks needed this functionality. That's why it's here. Um, and, you know, it's leaving behind some of this other stuff because technically this is not black. If I click and color pick, you'll see that this is kind of, it's, it's a very saturated, I mean, it's a very dark green, but it's a green. You know, and all these in that same range are the, essentially that, that color hue at a very dark darkness. Um, so that's some of the functionality just to remove some of that stuff. So now the other functionality that you have is if you're in the actual, you've pulled one of them, and I'll just, we'll delete this one, or these two. So this is the third version. We haven't pulled a lot. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. There's some extra functionality here. Um, you know, again, like I said, it's not a perfect solution. We're doing the best we can here to, you know, remove as much work as possible for you. But you have a perfect black choke one pixel. And what you can do is, after you've pulled it, all you have to do is say you need to step it back even further. But keep in mind, this is actually going to pull back from some of this other stuff. But in scenarios like this where we, we've kind of hit an edge here, you've got this white ink here. You've got these darker, let's see, yellows. Um, but you have this kind of hazy edge here. You can choke that stuff back. So if you use perfect black choke one pixel, it's going to actually choke it back one pixel. And I wanted to zoom in to show you. So we've stepped back one pixel. It's erasing. But keep in mind, any transparency that it finds is also going to get that treatment, and any edge is going to get that treatment. So it's, it's an overall thing. It's not just targeting the black. You see, each time I click it, it steps it back. So, I mean, I can basically click this and, this is, you know, essentially destroy the artwork if I want to. But it's going to take a step back each time um, and decrease the pixels. And you can see we're losing that nice diffusion blend um, the more we do it. But the option's there. And in, in certain scenarios, it's uh, very useful. And that's why it's there. And also, at any point, you can just use Choke Selected. So let's just delete this. We'll come in here. And I'm not going to touch anything. This is Choke Selected by one pixel. And we'll pay attention to the transparent areas. And we'll also pay attention to the edges of the document. So let's hit Choke Selected. So you can see it's done an overall one pixel choke everywhere and anywhere that there's kind of transparency and i believe if i zoom into these edges it might not do it in the document on the document edge but if you have anything that's just kind of isolated that's what it's going to do and i think i also set this up where you can actually choke a selection so if you let's say you have this selection you've extracted it um I believe if I select choke selection, yeah, we've decreased by one pixel. So if I turn that off and on, you can basically quickly do that and you're good to go. 
So that essentially covers Perfect Black. So it's not nuanced, really. It's, it's going to give you three different levels of black removal uh, in closer areas. It's, you know, the best I can without creating, you know, you know, hundreds of these, dozens of these. It's just three scenarios to where we're just staying in this range, maybe a couple steps. So you have Perfect Black removal, uh, removal two, removal three, and choking. Uh, so yeah, in the next video, we'll cover some of this other stuff like underbase, trans cleanup, super dupe, and enlarged rasterizations. Um, yeah, so see you there.